So if you're planning on doing your bachelor's, master's or even your PhD studies in Finland, you have to make a choice between 12 universities and 22 different universities of applied sciences. So the question is, how do you know which of these schools is best for you? So in this video, I will actually go through the list of the best universities in Finland and I will also explain why university rankings are not necessarily the best way for you to choose your school. Alright, so what are the best universities in Finland? Well, according to the QS World University Rankings, they are the University of Helsinki, which is located right here in the middle of Helsinki, and Aalto University, which is located here at the Otaniemi campus in Espoo, followed by the University of Turku, University of Jyväskylä, University of Oulu, University of Tampere, Lappeenranta Lahti, University of Technology or LUT, the University of Eastern Finland, and the Obo Academy. Considering that there are almost 20,000 universities around the world, this puts the aforementioned Finnish universities among the top 3% in the world. So if QS says these are the best universities in Finland, I guess that's it, right? Well, it's actually not that simple. The thing is, when deciding which university is right for you, the different university rankings, especially the joint rankings that I just referenced, are actually not always the best way to choose your school, because they do not always tell you the full story. First, each ranking system focuses on a limited number of different factors when it comes to calculating their gradings. For example, the QS World University Rankings rely heavily on an academic survey, asking thousands of academics and employers worldwide about the reputation of different universities. So their methodological framework is compiled using these six metrics and you can read more about them on their website, to which I have a link below. Anyways, what should be noted is that these metrics do not take into account many of the things that might be specifically relevant for students. So these are things like the study experience of the students themselves, or for example the quality of the career of the university alumni. Of course, and uh, as QS mentioned on their website, these kinds of qualities are almost impossible to quantify reliably, but this still highlights a common issue with these kind of rankings, which is that they often focus on the perspective of the academics and employers, disregarding the perspectives and experiences of the students themselves. So talking about studying in Finland, one of the great benefits of actually being a student here is that we get to enjoy really high quality but also affordable student apartments. In fact, if you are coming to Finland to study specifically in the capital region, I highly recommend that you apply for student apartments from today's sponsor, which is HOAS. So HOAS, or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region, is a non-profit that builds, rents and maintains student apartments in the Helsinki capital region. I've basically been living in their apartments all throughout my studies and I highly recommend that you apply for one of their almost 10,000 apartments. Not only are HOAS apartments super affordable, but they're also really well located around the capital region, making commuting to any of the major campuses in the capital region super, super easy. More information about HOAS and all of their apartments through the links in the description box below. Anyways, continuing on the rankings, second thing that you should take into account is that each ranking system is based on different metrics, which are also quantified differently for each individual ranking. This makes the different rankings, for example, between the QS World University Rankings, Times Higher Education World University Rankings, and the academic rankings of world universities by Shanghai Jia Tong University, actually quite difficult to compare side by side. For example, here you can see a table listing the best universities in Finland based on the aforementioned rankings. As you can see, there is quite a lot of differences here and you would have to go into the weeds to actually understand why these schools are listed in different order when compared side by side. Anyways, the third reason for why university rankings are not often the best way to choose your school is because the joint rankings do not take into account the individual subjects taught at each university. So not only do you have to take into account that not all universities in Finland teach every possible subject, but also that the joint rankings might not do justice to each faculty at each university. This is why blankly staring at the joint rankings can actually be quite confusing. So as an example, if we take a look at the QS 2021 rankings for Finnish universities,
studies, you can see that the University of Helsinki ranks number one in Finland, closely followed by Aalto University. All right, so that's cool. And I guess this means that if you want to study at the best university in Finland, you should always apply to the University of Helsinki, right? Well, no, it actually depends on the subject that you want to study. For example, if you want to study biology, the University of Helsinki would be the best choice, not only because it ranks the highest in Finland in that field, but also because Aalto University doesn't teach biology as a subject. So while Aalto does have a bunch of programs that are based on biology, for example, uh, biochemistry, bio-based materials, clean technologies, wood chemistry, etc., it is not the right school if you want to become a biologist. So another good example here is business and management. Again, if you look blindly at the joint university rankings, you would think that the University of Helsinki would be your best option in Finland. But again, this is not the case, not only because Art University actually ranks number one in business in Finland, but more importantly, because the University of Helsinki doesn't even have a faculty in business and management. Finally, a third great example is actually the subject of arts and design. So again, if we look at the QS 2021 joint world rankings, Art University ranks 127th in the world. So that's actually pretty good, but again, there are a bunch of better universities around the globe, including the University of Helsinki, which ranks 104th in the world. However, the University of Helsinki again does not have a faculty in arts and design. Also, as it happens, the Aalto University School of Arts and Design right here behind me actually ranks 6th in the world in its field. So in this subject, Aalto University is not only the best university in Finland, but also one of the best in the entire world. So yeah, as you can see, the joint university rankings actually do not give you a good picture of which universities you should apply for, but rather, if you want to look at any kind of university rankings, my suggestion to you is that you should focus on the subject-based rankings instead. Talking of which, the highest subject-specific positions for Finnish universities in the QS 2021 University World Rankings go to, as mentioned before, Art University in Arts and Design with the sixth place, Sibelius Academy of the University of Arts Helsinki in Performing Arts with rank 9, Tampere University in Library and Information Management with the spot 21, and the University of Helsinki in Education and Training with a ranking of 22nd. In addition, three Finnish universities also featured in the QS Top 50 Under 50 2021 rankings for young top universities in the world, and these were Aalto University, Tampere University and the University of Eastern Finland. So now that you know some of the best universities in Finland, next I recommend that you watch this video where I talk about how much it actually costs to study in Finland. Thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!